Uh, now, there has been a little bit of a change on that Dignity roster. It's Pisa coming in for Dio. Uh, so Pisa used to play on Kanga last season. He was fairly solid as a tank. Um, and we'll see what he can do here on this Dignity roster. Lush is actually in the roster there for Finn Chicken, so that's good news. But it looks like he's going to be playing tank, which means no Styrel. And now it's time to see if Finn Chickens can ride on the Magic School Bus to a victory today, or if Dignity is going to be able to take it away. Uh-huh. I think you're funny sometimes, mate, but... Look, I guess it's okay. Start things off. Yui, see you later, Smiley. Good start there. Straight away from Dignity. But uh, so often it can come down to the battle of these Widows. I don't know whether it's going to be the case this time around or not. Point is now open. The Bin Chickens. They got the first couple of ticks, but as you can see, Dignity with more players on the point right now. Yeah, I don't think it really matters who starts off with the ticks. It's going to be a case of who caps it out first, and that is going to be Dignity as Bin Chickens do give it up. They back off, wait for their respawns. And it's Yui that's really having the impact right now for Dignity. He's up to 75% of the infrasight. So really charging that ult up quickly. He's been doing some work so far. The other one I think to note here on Dignity was Mini. Last week she had a really good performance on that Diva. We'll keep an eye on her. Rista, well, Renda, perhaps, is the one that we should be having a look at. Yeah, already going to find two. And uh, the Nas is going to go down. It's a nice little pick. You Sense. can see already up to 30%. Yeah, that's a good start for Dignity. They haven't really had to have an actual fight, have they? They've just been getting, well, that initial pick from Yui onto Smiley kind of got them the point cap. And then Renda gets a couple before the fight even really starts there. So Binchikens, they just need to do a little bit better in, in getting to the point before they get picked off. Oh, oh wow. wow! Nice work, Yui. Nice work. Look yep. at these uh, ultimate. Going to sit on the side of Dignity for now. Three for them, ready to go. And to be fair, they're looking uh, pretty comfortable right here on defense. Yeah, Yui just under no pressure at all. He's getting pot shots onto everyone. i got to imagine the same has to be said for Renda, although we can't quite see what's going on with him at the moment. On a headshot there from Yui. Get taken down though, healed up quite nicely. And again, just absolutely no problems right now for Dignity. Yeah, Yui actually doing pretty good work. Finds two, Zanace's beta goes down. Zanace is going to come back, but I don't think it's going to uh, be enough here for the Bin Chickens, John. They're trying to capture the point. Pizza's on the point, got Primal Rage. I don't think, I don't even know if it's going to need to pop it right now. Well, well, a couple of picks do go the way of Dignity there, or do go rather the way of the there Bin Chickens. There we go. So I, th I suspect the Primal Rage needs to be popped, and indeed it is. Leverett goes down to Mini. We are starting to see Dignity once again regain control of this point as their respawners do come across. Beta is in there on the Doomfist, but not for too long. And Smiley, he needs to get something pretty big with this Pulse Bomb, otherwise it's going to be done and dusted for the Bin Chicken. Doesn't even have the opportunity nope. to throw it out. Yui having a fantastic round on that Widowmaker. And with Infrasight available now, I don't see Bin Chickens being able to capture this one back. Going to throw a Trance out onto the point. Lush looking very low, demacked and removed. Look at this, Render throws through and picks up both the support. Beta goes down to Yui. Easy does it. Dignity with a pretty convincing 100-0 to zero there to start things off. Yeah, definitely. Uh, looking good, looking good. Yui on point, Render on point. Two DPS having a good time. That's always the start that you want. And it doesn't seem like Pisa coming into this roster has really shaken things up too dramatically for Dignity. But on the other side of the coin, I mean, Bin Chickens with Lush on the, the tank, the off-tank role, is very strange because he was listed as their DPS, their hitscan DPS, but it seems like Smiley's taken that. So, not sure what's going on there for Bin Chickens. Maybe Styrel wasn't available. Maybe Styrel's moved to sub. Look at this out, star. Three and a half tanks now coming out here for Dignity, Jordan. Interesting. Yeah. You can see how this plays out up against the Bin Chickens. So, I'm, I'm a big, big fan of three and a half tanks, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, just a little bit less damage, though, coming out from Dignity as from Bin Chickens, given that Hanzo is there, but Beta needs to make something happen. Otherwise, the War of Attrition is going to favor Dignity, and that's exactly what you're seeing right now with that extra healing that Brigida is able to bring across. Dignity, they can just play this massive death ball and absolutely smash away with the Bin Chickens. Oh. No real surprises there. No, well, Paw's going to come out there, perhaps uh, the Bin Chickens applying some burn ointment or something like that, yeah. because it's uh, been pretty brutal so far. Coming out here from Dignity, and I, I guess, uh, you know, 
early days, but it's kind of trending the way that we thought. However, maybe control point just not where the bin chickens are favor. Maybe, maybe. I mean, with that kind of a, a play from Dignity, they look really composed, yeah. coordinated, just all rushing in there, and uh, really not a whole lot that bin chickens could do unless they get a pick early on in the piece. One of those healers maybe goes mm -hmm. down, and then and there's a kind of a chance to turn that that fight back in your favor, but with that many tanks, with that many healers, uh, you know, if you're bin chickens, you just it's, it seems almost impossible to kind of get enough damage out yep. to be able to not only counteract the healing that's coming out, but then kind of to chunk through all the HP and the armor that the tanks have as well. So it was and a really nice death ball. You don't really expect to see it either, right? Necessarily coming out first up and... If, if, not you're not ready, if you're not ready to counter it, if it's not ready, then all of a sudden you lose the first fight. The ultimate charge is in the favor of your opponent already. That gets them through to at least 50%. By the time you throw everything at them, capture it back, maybe, and they can change up if they want to and push through again. So, yeah, it, it, it can be difficult. And as we saw, it was quite difficult there for the bin chickens really yeah. to do anything about it. I'll be interested to see what bin chickens are going to do in response to that composition that Dignity yeah. is running. Because, well, you, obviously you think like, okay, maybe a Pharaoh might not be a bad idea here. There's not really anyone on the Dignity roster True. that can actually do anything about that. So let's see if there's going to be uh, a change up here for bin chickens. Smiley actually onto Junkrat again. Not, not a bad choice. Going to be able to chunk through those shields quite easily. A lot of AOE damage. So if Dignity are clumped up together, He'll be able to put some damage down there as well. Uh, but for Bin Chickens, having lost that point already, time is ticking in the favor of Dignity. They need to get the ball rolling pretty quickly. Yep. Bust does have 80% of the Earth Shadow. He's up there as well. It's going to be down to which Reinhardt can get the better of it. Oh, man. How are you going to get anything out of a Reinhardt if uh, if you've got a Brigitte on the other team, if they're coming through? Look at this. Coalescence is ready, and straight away Dignity will destroy yeah. The bin chicken tier. They're so aggressive as well, Jordan. They That's cannot give them any space. They've got the Lucio. You can get right on top of bin chickens. And here's the change up. Beta has gone on to the Farah, which is the one that I sort of highlighted. So now we have two AoE damage dealers for bin chickens. And this is pretty much their best chance to kind of punch through that dignity tank line. But oh, so tanky now with the rally coming out from Brigida as well. Beta now pushing through over the top, as you said, onto the Farah, looking to find as much damage as they can. Urshatter comes through, not that successful. Yui goes down, finally. Finally, the Bin Chicken's looking to do some damage. Already Smiley across as well onto the Riptire. The Bin Chicken's uh, being much more favoured. As I said, you get to about 50% before they capture it back now. To Dignity stay or to Dignity do Dignity swap? That's the real question. I think for Dignity, you probably want to be swapping here. I don't know how you're going to deal with the Pharah. I think it was a really good change up from Pinchikin, but mm. Dignity, they've decided that they want to stick with this one. Yui doesn't have a rally available. Render doesn't have Graviton Surge available, so uh, they, they must be pretty confident with this strategy Is that they're running. Is it self-destruct under Pharah? Like, what are you going to do to deal with this? The Coalescence and the Graviton Surge all coming out, but Beta finds three before eventually going down. Mini d as well. Nothing there to deal with the far at all. Come on, guys. Yeah, well, Time I mean, to swap. That was always going to happen when there's a Graviton Surge to combo with, but still not seeing that change up from Dignity. So, like, you can kind of forgive them for that last fight. But now, I, I still don't know how the Dignity guys are going to be able to make this one work. They might just be able to do it if Mini can get that self-destruct, like you said, onto the Farah Mercy combo. But short of that, I don't know how they're going to kill them. Oh, man. Getting absolutely destroyed. Great Earth Shatter coming out from Bass. Very sneaky. Yeah, nice work. Smiley and Beta both going to clean up across the board. Got to, got to check those corners, Ben. Oh, dear. But I suppose for Dignity, what they want now is to get all their ults built up, maybe combo them, Graviton Surge self-destruct or Earth Shatter self-destruct. It still, it seems like an improbable chance for Dignity to win this round with the roster that they're running. Here's the self-destruct, though. And oh, oh wow. finds three, well, including the Pharmacy, Jordan. That'll do it. Yeah. I don't know how. I don't know how many gets three there, but somehow she does. Yeah, great. So Dignity have great been given work. another chance back into this one. Well, they what will. On and I guess now they are on the point, to be fair. They've got a couple of ultimates uh, in their pocket to work yeah, with. They're at a deficit, though. The Bin Chickens have ultimates as well. The Bin Chickens, when they were at a disadvantage before with this exact same lineup, were managed to come through and, get, and, and pick up Dignity here. So I don't know if it's going to be enough. Rally has popped. Rally wasn't enough last time. Let's see if it works this time for them. Coalescence comes through as well. The charge coming out from the Reinhardt. Everyone's still alive, except for Smiley. Yeah, there's an Earth Shatter out onto Dignity, though. Well, from Dignity, Bin Chicken's going to be losing a couple off the back of that. 
Here's the Rocket Barrage. Not much damage done from that, and actually Beta kills himself. Yeah. That's the second time with the Rocket Barrage. Even still, Bin Chickens are winning this fight. As again, it just feels like they have the superior composition right now, just completely countering what Dignity have got. And we're into overtime. Sure, Dignity's camped up to 99%, but Bin Chickens are going to be able to flip it. And now Dignity, what do they have to work with to recapture just one Graviton Surge, and that's it. There's literally a graviton surge, which you can't get out, can't get rid of the fire. You're not right going to catch the fire on no. the mercy bits, surely, unless it's some godlike graviton surge. Yeah. So this is tough. Graviton surge will come out, but not That's for lush. render. There's the counter grab surge coming out right now. But let's see who gets the better of whom. And well, dignity are on the point by the looks of things, trying to recapture, trying to do something in this overtime, Jordan. But the bin chickens are the ones who get the victories now, one apiece. Yeah. And it, it can't help but feel like maybe a minute ago, 90 seconds ago, yeah. something could have changed. After the first adaptation from Bin Chickens, we needed to see an adaptation from Dignity, but we just didn't see that. They All they do is they continue to smack their head into the brick wall with that uh, triple tank composition, and obviously it, it wasn't going to work. They, you're going up against a Farah and a Junkrat. Yeah. I don't, I don't really understand the thought process there for Dignity. I, they really needed to change something up, I think, but either they didn't recognize that or they didn't feel like they needed to and they felt like their composition was going to work. I don't know. End of the day though, didn't work for Dignity and now we find ourselves in the third round here of Oasis. This time it'll be Farah out from Render. Yui onto the Tracer. Yeah, look, when Dignity looked good, Jordan, they looked very good. Yeah. But it didn't seem like at any point no. after that change that Dignity made, or rather the Binchikens made, that Binchikens were going to lose that. Even though they got recapped at one point, you always thought, oh, the next fight they're going to be able to cap it out anyway. Well, third round is up and we're on to the point right now you can see both teams coming out with Farah's and Bus going to be the first one down Mini going to get the better right there but Beta comes Ooh, back finds big two big. including the Pharmacy he gets Mercy and Farah oh man yeah well there you go great work it looked like Dignity were going to win that fight for a moment but then the completely changes up Beta nice work on that far up I thought Beta was pretty impressive in their match against Legacy. The real question mark was what the second DPS was going to be able to do. And again, it's going to be Smiley. But she's still on the off tank. But Beta definitely has uh, been doing okay. There's another kill for him. Render goes down once again. Yes, yeah, straight away. Straight away, Beta with the frag. And now, uncontested up here, flying around through the skies. Gazette looking low. Going to have to try and get out of the way of the self-destruct. He's successful. Throws out the rocket barrage. However, not going to find anyone this time. Probably a bit unnecessary there for Beta as well. And he yeah. actually does go down. Saw the losing support. leverage earlier. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think they needed it, to be honest. The fight was won anyway for Min Chickens. But they should be okay. They should still be able to hold on to this one, despite losing Beta there. Xenesis has gone pretty ham on the... Uh, Zenyatta. But for Pin Chickens holding on to it 50% now. Dignity. I mean, if, if Render keeps going down on that far, there's not really much point in running the Far Mercy combo if you're going to continue to be shot out of the sky by your opposition's Far Mercy combo. So we need to see Render and Kazette surviving a little bit better here. Well, that's it. And of course, we've got Smiley on the Genji, whilst Yui's on the Tracer. That's better. And that is precisely what Dignity want to see to kick this battle off. They need to get back onto the point. They need to do something. And Smiley now pushing through here for Bin Chickens with the Dragon Blade. Finds Kazette. Support is gone. Is it going to be enough? Looking for Render. So much searching for Render. Unfortunately for Smiley, not going to be the case. Yeah, well, as soon as Beta goes down there, the sky is all renders. He has no presence there from the opposition team. Yeah, Genji can kind of have a bit of an impact if he dashes up there, but realistically speaking, it's always going to be difficult to deal with the Farah Mercy combo if you're not hit scan and if you don't have the counteracting Farah Mercy combo of your own, just to at least have that presence. Now Yui here looking for a sneaky pulse bomb. He might just find oh, it. He does. Oh, nice. Xenesis is going to get picked up there by Yui. Great use of the pulse bomb. Only finds one, but the support is worth it. Lever it comes through. By we'll time. get the res. Yeah, but as you said, slows them down. One less uh, resurrection available, potentially. They will battle straight away. But the time ticking away right now for the Bin Chickens. But to be fair, Jordan, they only really need to win one fight here. They do. Well, probably two, because we'll m maybe see Dignity being able to recontest. I don't think it's going to be this fight, though, for Bin Chickens. As Dignity, they find three picks. Lush is able to get Special Kid, but aside from that, it's really all going the way of Dignity at the moment, and Smiley's just going to jump off the edge. Lush as well. 
resetting themselves as the timer ticks up for Dignity slowly but surely. And Chickens have probably got two fights left with the amount of time that they have to play with. But they would much rather get it in this next one. Give themselves uh, that leg up. Not much to work with though. No Dragon Blade. Self-destruct shortly. Yeah, the bin chickens really with uh, not that much right now. And they're going to start running out of time if they're not very, very careful. Seems to me like Dignity has started to claw this one back on what was a great start on round one. Turned into a pretty average game number two, or round number two even. Beta throws out the barrage, finds two before Render both finally healers. takes him down. And as you said, both healers, that can make life real tough right now for the bin chickens. Well, Xenesis is still alive here for Bin Chickens. No, actually, he was back at the base. I think I'm a mistake. He's swapped off onto the Lucio, so right now it's just neither team with healers on the point. Xenesis does get in there quite quickly, but Yui with the Pulse Bomb again, he finds Smiley. That's big because the Dragon Blade was available, but no yep. longer. Nope. And uh, no reds coming through in the moment. So many to pick from. Probably not even worth it. And Cassette going to get picked up there by Bar Self Destruct coming out right now from Mini. Doesn't find anyone potentially pushing them off the point. A lot of red players here, not very many blue. That may mean the Dignity can pick this one up. Jordan, last attempt oh, coming out from the Bin Chickens. Special Kids ruined Smiley oh, there. Dear. He's just knocked him into the wall. No reset available there for Smiley. And unfortunately, he can't get anything done with that Dragon Blade. So, Dignity going to come away with uh, the victory on map one. It was fairly close, though. It was, yeah. Uh, I do feel as though in the, the fights, which, you know, you, you kind of think, okay, this is a 50-50 fight. Both teams are fairly evenly matched maybe like 6v6 or whatever. I do feel as though Dignity have a bit of an advantage. I, I, I'm seeing more done by Yui and I'm seeing more done by Render than by the Bin Chickens DPSs. I think they're, they're having a bit of a better time, Dignity, in those fairly standard fights. Now, they did lose that one round on Oasis, but I really think that that was mostly due to the composition that Dignity were running. They kind of dug yeah. themselves in a hole. Yeah, that was odd, right? Couldn't it's get themselves out of it because seems, they refused to swap. It was like... Seems weird. They're trying to dig the hole with a spoon when there's a shovel right next to them. Well, that's it, right? If, if you're going to dig your grave, you might as well do it properly. Mm. That's what I say. And does uh, follow out some good plays here from Yui, who, to be fair, kicked off uh, Oasis pretty well. Yeah, Yui's the little wunderkind that everyone's been talking about. It's had a good impact for Dignity, but... As of yet, nothing sublime, nothing super crazy out there. No. He's no. been solid. This was nice. That was a very, very good Earth Shatter. There was moments for Bin Chickens. There were there were a few moments, actually, and I, I think Bin Chickens actually played relatively well. Uh, you know, some good plays as well out from Dignity that made life tough. Um, round one, maybe a bit of a one. Round two, really, it was uh, Bin Chickens who who swapped relatively quickly, I think. They made those changes. That they tried twice. The first time, sure, uh, maybe you feel like, oh, whatever the pause reason was, they felt things weren't, weren't where they wanted to be. They come back in, were unsuccessful the second time. Third time, though, they weren't going to make that same mistake. Well, yeah, I mean, Bit Chickens were certainly much more confident swapping yeah. around their composition than what we saw from Dignity. It was kind of Dignity chose their composition at the start of the round and then ran with it on all three. Yeah. Uh, there wasn't much changing up, which down the track you know, is probably going to be a negative. Obviously, they've ended up winning here on Oasis, but if Dignity are going to be so stagnant in their rosters, they are potentially going to run into some trouble if Pinchikins just decides to swap up and counter them. But moving on to either Eichenwald or King's Row, uh, I think you're going to be a little bit more susceptible, at least with Dignity, to, to be swapping those rosters up. I think they're going to be much more happy to do that here. So we'll have to find out if it's going to be Eichenwald or King's Row. I'm putting money on King's Row just because that's what Pinchikins chose in their match last time. So... Well, let's see. Jordan, let's go and take a look. Are you going to lose your money? Nope. nope, you're not. It's going to be King's Row, picked here by the Bin Chickens. And yeah, look, for me, I guess, I think I probably agree with you where, uh, you know, we say for what we've seen so far, when it has been uh, that even matchup, maybe, maybe Dignity have looked a little bit better. However, I felt like that game was relatively close, that Oasis was, was closer than it could have been. Um, and, and I think it, it could be a pretty good game. It's a very, very real chance here of this going to five maps. Prove me wrong, but uh, I'd like to be right. Yeah, definitely could be a good game. Uh, some good early signs, though, for Dignity. Like last season, uh, last week, sorry, we saw Yui take a little while to kind of warm up. His first map was uh, not, not altogether amazing, uh, but that first map there for Yui I thought was much better than what we saw starting off the, the match against Legacy. Uh, so if he warms into this match even from that start, that's definitely good for, for Dignity. Mini again, 
fairly consistent on that diva. Mm -hmm. Last week, very good. This week, we've already seen one very good self-destruct out from her. So, uh, chances for more. Yeah, I guess for me, the, the thing here that we really uh, need to keep in mind, and I suppose the, the teams are more than aware of, is that right now, both these teams are uh, bottom of the ladder, Jordan, but you're looking for fourth place. You need to be fourth to make it through to playoffs. And if you want to make playoffs, you have to win this match. You cannot lose to the other team at the bottom of the ladder. Yeah, another good sign for Dignity is that Yui is consistently being able to get these duels won against Smiley. And if your Widowmaker is defeating the enemy Widowmaker, Time and time again, you just relieve so much pressure on your own roster and put heaps more pressure on your opposition. Well, as you can see here, Dignity going to be starting off on defense since they did not pick the map. And Friend uh, finds Smiley, pushes through, gets low, continues the push, relatively successful. And well, Pizza throws out the Fire Strike and finds Beta in the process. Yeah, well, you'd be screaming there if your render and Beta survived because he got him so low, he was a one shot for such a long time. Yelling in the mic, one shot, one shot, but inevitably he does go down. So that buys some more time there for Dignity. And they're having a fairly good time so far on the defense. Render gets dropped low, but being healed up pretty quickly by Kazet. Yui also under a, a little bit of pressure, but on the front line, it's certainly looking quite good for Dignity. Pisa and Mini are having absolutely no problems at all. They're both full HP. Yeah, so far, Dignity looking the better of the two teams here, trying to push through. And Pisa's keeping his uh, shield charged up quite nicely. You're not really ever seeing it get low. He's not under pressure because of that. No. And that's it, right? Just knowing when to drop that shield is, is really very crucial here for the uh, Another thing here for Dignity is that they're going to have six ultimates in a second, so Binchikans are going to be running straight into that. Oh, man, and they're only going to need two, to be perfectly honest. Look at that. Throws out the drag ball. Easily done. Binchikans essentially wiped here by Dignity. Render will go down in the end, but it really does not matter. Should get rezzed up there by Kazette, as you can hear. And now, two minutes on the clock. The Bin Chicken still with a ton of work to do. I love I love to see teams use their ultimate charges. It really, uh, they're, they're quite frugal with it, right? But still yeah. getting the job done. Well, that's all that the, the Dignity really needed. Now they have the Earth Shatter to play with. Uh, Buster's still waiting on his, but he's only 4% away. Doesn't matter though, this fight's already over. Render and Yui find a pick a piece. That's game over as Bus has to get the heck out of there. And the rest of the Bin Chickens are going to have to follow up. Now let's see if Dignity decides to try and chase just a little bit, but well, they're they not are. going to overextend too much by the looks of things, though yep. Mini does seem quite keen. But in yeah. the end, uh, another fight over before it begins. Now it's Bin Chickens the one that have the ultimates available to them, five in fact. They're going to have to make this next fight work. Oh, but man, that again, doesn't help at all. Lush it cannot starts. afford to get caught out like that. beta has gone down to yep. Yui as well. Pizza pushes forward once again, potentially trying to get some charge here for the Zarya. Gosh, this double sniper oh, setup man. is just so oppressive right now from Dignity. Both Render and Yui are just hitting everything. And it's a case for Binchikens. Like, how do we even get close enough to be able to have a fight when we're getting picked across the board? Smiley's already swapped off the Widow because he's not winning the duels against Yui. Beta's certainly not getting the picks that Render is. Well, this is the battle the Bin Chickens have to win. Graviton Surge goes through, Dragon Strike is combined, but the Transcendence oh, keeps wow. everyone alive. Great work coming out from Special Kid, and now Bin Chickens are on the back foot. They're going to pop almost all Great of their ultimates here, both their support ultimates. Beta's gone down, Special Kid finds the Genji. That's so filthy. And Dignity so strong here on defense. One would expect right now that the Bin Chickens going to really struggle to get back here in the next 20 seconds. Man, I'm getting the sense that this match is not going to be as close as we predicted it would be. Dignity just across the border looking so much better than the Bin Chickens. We'll talk about that in a second, but Bin Chickens, they've got one last chance to cap this point up. They don't have a single ultimate, and now they've lost Smiley. It's impossible, surely. Oh, oh Graviton Surge straight in, charging through the Earth middle. Shatter Pizza well. from behind with the Earth Shatter. Yeah. Easy does it. So Pisa just completely outplaying Buster in that final fight. He gets his own Earth Shatter down, then he blocks Buster's Earth Shatter. Not a good sign there for Bin Chicken, certainly no. in this meta when we're going to be seeing a lot of Reinhardt duels. And then the same can be said for the DPS as well, where Yui and Render are just getting the better of every single duel. And they're stopping the fights before they even begin, which is exactly what you want to be doing with the double sniper setup. That's why I said it's so oppressive. If your own snipers can't well, deal with it. the opposition snipers. It's like, literally, what do I do as well, a tank? Well, that's it. What do you what, what do you do in or, general? Do you what swap do I do off what is quite a slow Reinhardt-Zarya shield competition? 
Well, because you dive, if you jump in, I don't know, and then if, you lose your back line. Look, it is if you're, tough. If you're diving as a Winston and a, and, a, and a Diva, you're probably getting picked off before you dive in anyway, and then you're diving in on top of a Reinhardt and a Zaya anyway, so it's like out yeah. of the frying pan into the fire. I don't know what Bin Chickens can do right now, short of actually winning those aim jewels. Look at that mullet. It's, it, this is impossible, surely. I mean, you can't defend that first point like that. And then, and then lose the, the map. I think Dignity is going to win this one. They're going to be up 2-0. Well, they're certainly looking like uh, they are the favourites right now here, Elfish Guy. Dignity with a very strong defence here on King's Row. They didn't pick the map, but who cares? Because they're clearly in control. Yeah. If you take a look, it says 0% on both sides. That means they only need to find one third of the point. 33% yeah. will get them across the line and push us into half time with Dignity in a 2-0 and zero lead up against Bin Chickens. It is, to be fair, the bottom of the table clash, but it is an important clash nonetheless. I want to reiterate, I feel like this season, the, the teams at the bottom of the ladder are stronger than the teams that were at the bottom of the ladder last yeah. season. I feel everyone's improved a little bit. I feel like we're going to have a pause here because Three, Smiley's still in spawn. Two, one. I'm sure. Oh. I'm sure what's going on. We're going to see the change up from Dignity. There we go. Going to go onto the dive tanks, but yeah, that's the expected uh, the pause because Smiley was just standing in spawn for basically that entire time. I'm actually surprised that it took that long to actually get the pause coming up. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, dive tanks, yeah, for dignity. That's interesting. Well, that's what we were talking about. But hey, so that was the opposite. Maybe right? they, because maybe they, ha maybe they have confidence that they can close it out real quick here. Yeah, but dignity are the ones that are already winning this game. So sure, go for the dive tanks if you're getting yep. the picks on the widow and yep. you're getting the picks on uh, the Hanzo. So you can just jump in there. You get a pick, or you jump in and then get a pick. Whatever the case, uh, once your your tanks are on top and you've already got a pick here or there, you've done some damage. Then it can be very easy to get those kills. Uh, the real thing for me here is that Bin Chickens have gone for the Orisa, but they don't have the Roadhog. So there's not really mm. as much pick potential. They're just w uh, sort of hoping for the consistent damage coming out from the Junkrat and, and for Smiley to get those picks. But I don't see it happening because Yui has just been all over Smiley again. Yeah, well, it's tough, mate. Look, that's the reality here. And Render up into the back line, but Zanace is going to get the better of him. Well, Smiley does get rezzed up there, and Render going down kind of spoils the party a little bit there for Dignity, but still they have the dive tanks. Winston going to be jumping right on top of the Widow and the Mercy, and that's not a fun situation to be in if you are those two players. But in the end, Leverett will get the red, get the better of Pisa, so a successful first defense for Bin Chickens. But already the cracks are showing when Smiley goes down that quickly to Yui again, and now to Smiley, it's a special kid. Yeah, that's tough. That's real tough. You're not going down to the snipers. You're going down to the supports and special kid. Going to be pretty happy with that pick. So now when you're down when you're down a sniper, Jordan, it means it's even easier for your opponents to push through. But this time they're in the back lines already. You can see that battle going on in the building as Yui finds Bass. One tank down. Yeah, because they're just pocketing Pisa there going on forward. Beta does get the kill onto Pisa, so player advantage right now for Bin Chickens. Once again, Dignity are going to have to fall back. Render gets Smiley, Yui gets Zenesis. This is the time, now Dragon Strike is out. Straight through the middle, doesn't even need to combo that with another ultimate to do something with it. And on to the point they go, Special Kid pushes through with the Transcendent, lever it down, Lush down. That's it. No. Unless it's a 6k. Yeah, well no. that's it. There's nothing they get can do. The, the Riptire there. Easy. It was only a matter of time really for Dignity there, wasn't it? They had such a fantastic defense. Uh, it took them a little while to get going on the attack there. Yep. Some of their their offenses, you know, they lost a player, they got a pick, then you know, then they kind of slowed things down a little bit. Uh, but it, it was just like, okay, we need to slow things down, dignity. Let's just reset. Let's not have everyone doing everything crazy. Let's just wait for Yui or Render to get a pick. Yeah, they get a pick each, and then Render throws out the dragon strike. You see Junkrat going to go down straight away as soon as it gets thrown out. You're like, okay, this game is over. And uh, for Dignity, well, it was too easy. Bin Chickens just didn't have enough to defend. Well, that's it. The, the reason they didn't have enough to defend is that they didn't do enough on attack, really. It's yeah. it's tough to hold point number one anyway. Let's be real, right? You're yeah. not, not necessarily expecting to come out with the full hold. The reality is that you need to be more successful on attack to give yourself something to work with on defense. And to be fair, they held it for a reasonable amount of time. It wasn't impressive on defense for Bin Chickens, but it wasn't like, you know, the first one or two pushes, really. So... Alas, it really comes down to their attack for me. Hey, I was just so oppressive uh, from the, the snipers of Dignity. Like, that's the trouble with this kind of a meta. It's like, what what can you do when the Widowmaker is that strong, when the Hanzo is that strong? There's 
no other option that can really contest them as yep. easily as themselves. So you pick your own Widowmaker, you pick your own Hanzo, and if you're still losing, it's where do you go? You can't swap onto McCree because he has damage fall off. You can't swap onto Farah because she just gets picked out of the sky by the Widowmaker. I mean, what, what other options are there? I guess Genji, you're probably going to get taken down before you get in there. Same thing can be said for Tracer. Well, that's so, it. You either need to be playing in an area where you're, you're removing essentially the snipers from the game, and that's really so hard as well yeah. when you've got Hanzos that are in your back line anyway. So if they're not picking off from, from afar, they're coming in with the uh, with the arrows from behind. You know, Storm Arrows, so quick these days. It just cleans you up really, really in, uh, in no time at all. But yeah. the reality is here, feels to me like if you haven't got players who can push through on the snipers, you're going to have a hard time. Yeah, exactly. And they couldn't really do anything because, it, I mean, you could say, okay, stand behind the Reinhardt shield. But at that point, again, you're just going to be running into an enemy Reinhardt who was, in a sense, Pisa was out playing bus at that point. And he got all the Earth Shatters down when he needed to. And he yeah. dodged the, or he blocked all the Earth Shatters that he needed to as well. So just across the board, every single piece of this puzzle is working well for Dignity in this matchup. And I don't know how Binchikins are going to be able to come away with the win. Well, they're going to need to change something, Jordan. They've got half time to think about it. We're going to take a very quick break. And when we come back, more of Dignity up against the Bin Chickens.